Well, it is around the entire controversy generated on India's choice for the Oscars. Well, we are talking about the film Barfi. Well, the movie has released going very strong at the box office. And the reactions will have so far been good. Barfi has also been nominated for the Oscars and that's where the bone of contention kicks in because it seems that the film has various themes inspired by other Hollywood makes. The question we are prompted to ask at this point of time is, of what you see on your television screens after this, is Barfi our best shot at the Oscars? Well, definitely not by the looks of it. The big handicap, even before the race begins, is a blatant charge of plagiarism. Barfi has many scenes, many, many scenes inspired, or you might even say copied blatantly from other movies and various genres of cinema. Now, where do we draw the line for homage, inspiration and plagiarism? Well, the jury is out there, but it does seem Anurag Basu lifted many a scene from various films. It would be easy to say that it was all homage or inspiration, but many would call it blatant copy. More so because Charlie Chaplin can be counted as a genre now, but Boss Basu has quite a history. Murder, Saya, Life in a Metro and now Barfi. All right, uh, let's cut across uh, to add Guru Pralad Kakkar who joins us live from Mumbai on this. Uh, Pralad, of all the people who've seen Barfi, of course, in India raving about it, but when you look at it on a larger scale, on a larger scale to see how many scenes are inspired or some might even call blatantly copied, the question I'm prompted to ask you, Pralad, is, is this our best bet for the Oscars? Why are we sending a film like this to an audience which is exposed to international cinema? No, not only that. See, I remember many years ago, there was a India's entry to the Oscars called Nikon, which was made, uh, which was a brilliant film, which was uh, made in Tamil, I think, um, uh, by uh, Mani Ratnam, sir. And there was one particular scene on it, which is very reminiscent of a killing scene in Godfather. And the film got disqualified at the Oscars because of that one scene. So they're pretty uh, clear about this whole business of inspiration and plagiarism and copying, if they're not acknowledged. Mm -hmm. Now, if we acknowledge the fact that these scenes were inspired by the old classics and that they, they were the, they were a source of inspiration and gave them credit in the film for the same, I don't think you would have a problem. But mm -hmm. not having acknowledged the fact that you were inspired by a lot of classics of the old yo and some new ones mm -hmm. on the process of growing up, is going to put you on very thin ice because the Oscar committee itself will disqualify the film. You know, Pralad, forget about plagiarism, forget about being inspired. The spotlight is right now on the selectors. Clearly, we have the wrong people out there making the wrong choices, picking the wrong films. They do not have the kind of exposure which they really need to have to pick our best bet for a race like the Oscars. I don't think that's true because, you know, the Film Federation of India, and I was a part of the Oscar selection committee two years ago when we uh, got Abu San of Padam uh, as India's official entry to the Oscar. The problem with that poor film was that the makers were so poor that they couldn't actually lobby for the film in, in America. So it went off unheard, unsupported, unstinted. But I, I was a part of that jury and they, there was due diligence and we disqualified one or two films which were actually uh, very close to other international films. So I think mm -hmm. it depends on the quality of debate and the kind of uh, jury that you pick uh, you know, for selecting the film. For but the you know, taking off from that, Pralad, say you're saying it's not entirely the jury's fault, but say if you were a part of the jury, if you were a part of the jury, what would you do? Mm -hmm. Would you pick something which is blatantly inspired, which many would call copied? No, I would have disqualified it because I know the rules. And I have studied them and I went into the background and I know what happened with uh, uh, Nikon. Mm -hmm. So at that particular time, we, this was one of the arguments for disqualifying one of the films. We said that, hello, this is going to get disqualified. So there's no point sending it to the Oscars. 